Well, we found this gem the other day. 1957 Bryant Gravity Furnace with the additional blower section mated to it to help increase the efficiency. The home was purchased brand new. Um, the daughter is living in there now, and she's like 62. Her father was 93 and passed away a few years ago, and he's the one that always oiled the motor, and that's what broke. As far as the family knows, they've never had a service call or need to service this furnace. <laughs> so 67 years 1957 to 2024, its first service call. And I told her, I was honest with her, I said, you know, if you can't afford it, you don't have to run this with the blower motor. It is a rated gravity furnace. Check out this heat exchanger. It's massive and it's mint still. I, I mean, it's amazing. Really an amazing piece of, of craftsmanship. All right. Uh, like and subscribe. All right, what we have here is a treat. Oh my goodness, look at this. No limit there, a Bryant. Check out the dog. <laughs> that is like really cool. And then <clears throat> even down here, <clears throat> what we have is a Bryant. There's the uh, model and serial number. 90,000 in, 90,000. Look at that. Why would they do that? Normal, normal, high altitude. The numbers are the same. Look at that. Normal and high altitude. The numbers are the same. That's, uh, that's interesting. Anyways, we look down here, and you can see, we just haven't cleaned it in a long time, but man, is this a pretty furnace. What a beautiful example of American technology and just, you know, something that'll last a lifetime. Anyways, you can see here we've got a situation where this is like all original. The gas valve looks original. The regulator looks original. And this right here is the part that really screws you because <laughs> they don't make that anymore. Instead of a thermocouple that generates a little bit of electricity that holds a tiny electromagnet inside of a gas valve, we've got this beast here. And what that is, is a bimetal that'll bend and make a set of contacts. And as long as those contacts are made, then it knows there's a flame there, it'll let the gas valve open up. Simple, lasts forever, really neat. Actually, there's an old gravity Maybe. Oh, it is. Well, look at the yeah, but look at the floor. It's, it looks like it's poured at the same time. Oh, you're ruining my video now, Daryl. We're gonna have to ask the people to post it in the comments. Now everybody is probably dead that's worked on these furnaces, so who knows? Well, why are the two different colors? Well, but, the <laughs> but look at the pad. Yeah, See the pad? The pad's the same over here. Yeah. Oh, look at you looking at it. It's not the same color, so this is a gravity furnace that they, they added, added it to. This is one of those. They used to do that, that you know what? Daryl came through today. He's right. You know, I'm. We're always stuck in in between this old stuff and new technology, and I overlooked that. But I do believe you are right, and that would make sense too. Because look, you've got a second high limit. And this setup here that they put in, that would, um, you know, why would you have a second high limit? That's a Honeywell. This is a White Rogers. So this probably, I don't know, man. It's so hard to. They probably are both wired. Yeah, I know, but. I'm pretty sure this was an aftermarket kit you would buy. Right. And then whoever put it in, they just said, ah, there's no big deal. Well, no, that turns the fan on and off. Then. Right. This is the high limit. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Sorry for the confusion, everybody, but, you know, it's part of the real world. Um, can you hit this over here for them so they can see this motor where you oil it? 
just from that side. Walk all the way around. I know she's got that stuff there. I just don't want to move my finger. But that's really cool to see. Look at that ground wire. <laughs> just a ground wire. Right there. Stick your finger in there. Get it dirty Wait, for the oil. camera. Oh, the oil yeah, port? Yeah, show the oil port. Yeah, it's a little rubber type thing. On top of there. Yeah, it pops out. Can you pop it out? Mm, I don't think so. It's like my forever. And it's hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here, this yeah. side, too. Here, flip that switch. Uh, oh, this, 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 this. Yeah, see? The motor. Spin it a little so they can see. Yeah, the motor's done. As you can hear and see. Oh, God, I'm terrible with this. Here, let's see. It's probably upside down in the video. <laughs> but you can screenshot that. There's also bearings down here in this. And these bearings... Those bearings... Uh, I always oil them, whether they're oilable or not. But this thing needs clean bad. Okay. All right. That's what we... No, that yeah, thing's cracked up. Yeah, Is there a number on that belt? 40380. 40380. Show the people where you get that. 380. That's what you match. And it goes on there. We just took it off to see if we could save the motor, but that motor's done. Um, these motors have different mountings on the plate. It'll tell you which mounting it is. And uh, change because this is the old style. So we'll new yeah, we'll probably just get a new mounting kit as well, and we'll show you that when we do it. Yeah, we might put a new gas valve in and uh, just change to a piloted system. This is inside the heat exchanger, the furnace. Look at that, she's got a primary drum and then like a secondary. Uh, like this. I got the phone the opposite way, so. It's kind of neat. Okay, hmm. here we go. There's the uh, inside of that. Look at that. There you go. There's the radiating in there. Let's see. No, because it's been running this way from the beginning. I I encourage people to keep these old furnaces as long as they possibly can. Uh, generally speaking, this is a no-brainer for one of the larger companies to come in and just say, hey, you need a new furnace. Um, you know, and I get some flack sometimes about the efficiency. Uh, gas bills really aren't that bad. And the truth is, is a lot of people don't have five to $10,000 to, you know, invest in a new furnace. So keep the old ones running forever. Bye-bye.